Seth had sex with Horace. And we saw from the last version of the story that we read concerning these two deities that it was consensual sex. So that means both Horace and Seth are homosexual deities. So that means if anybody does or says or teaches anything or promotes anything that is associated with these gods, they are pushing a gay agenda because these gods are homosexual. And I'm gonna show you exactly that. I'm gonna show you that people who represent Egypt or Kemet associate themselves with, promote themselves, and even name themselves after homosexual deities in ancient Egypt. But they never tell you this stuff. But we just saw that the seed of Seth was in the belly of Horus. So now let's move on and let's take a look at something else. Because as I just told you, people who represent Egypt or Kemet named themselves after these gay deities. And the main person who speaks against homosexuality is named after the gayest Egyptian deity in the Egyptian pantheon. And that person is Zara Sutton Seti. Seti. So what we're going to do is we're going to look up that name Seti and we're going to see which god that's associated with. First, we're going to go to a book titled Religion in Ancient Egypt. And this book is by Byron E. Schaefer, John Baines, Leonard H. Lesko, and David P. Silverman. All of these people are either doctors or professors in Egyptology or Egyptian archaeology. So all four of these people are qualified Egyptologists. This is page 109 of this book. Look what it says. The succeeding Ramesside period, 19th and 20th dynasties, about 1300 to 1100 BCE, is apparently filled with contradictions, and because of the wealth of materials available from various sources, it is one of the periods most deserving of synchronic analysis. The royal names, listen to this, the royal names of kings of this period indicate that they either were born of Re or Ra, Ramesses or Ramses. Now you know that Ramesses or Ramses is associated with the god Re or Ra. And listen to this. Or were Sethian, Seti, Setnot, that is associated with Seth. So we can see that the name Seti means associated with Seth. Then it continues and says, the traditional enemy of Osiris and Horus. So wait a minute. The name Seti means associated with Seth. And if you look this up on any name origin site on the internet, it will tell you that the name Seti means of Seth, referring to the Egyptian deity Seth. The same homosexual Egyptian deity we've been reading about all along. Now the brother called himself Seti, right? After the god Seth. After the god Seth. After the god Seth. After the god Seth. Now Seth is, 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 is a god, god of destruction. And, 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 he was a lie. Alright, he got to prove it. Egypt's most popular religious cult was devoted to Osiris, the fertility god of the Nile, who, whose death and resurrection symbolized planting of grain. Abydos, okay, ancient site, burial site for Osar, where you see the temple built by my spiritual father Seti, my spiritual father Seti. My spiritual father Seti, my spiritual father Seti, the first. You see Dendera, Hederu. You see Luxor, where you got the Grand, the Grand Lodge. You got Thebes on West Thebes. That's the other side. That's the burial ground. So you see a lot of Valley of the uh, the, the King. So Cyrus Hutton Seti, if you are so against being homosexual, why are you named? after the gayest Egyptian god in the Egyptian pantheon. Why is that? 